Hello guys, today I am here in front of you to tell you about the notification released by Nalco for various posts for different different branches my dear. So this is a good news for all of you because the number of posts are been there and guys Nalco is taking the candidate based upon the GATE 2022 scorecard and I would like to tell you guys about Nalco first of all. Nalco is National Aluminium Company Limited which is a Navratna Central PSU and guys they are taking the candidate based upon the GATE 2022 scorecard my dear the important dates are the notification is released today only so 11th uh, will be the starting date for submission of application and 11th September will be the last date for the same and guys these are the number of posts for mechanical highest number of posts 58 are there for electrical 41 are there for instrumentation 32 are there for metallurgy 14 are there and this is the category wise bifurcation my dear Okay, so I will be sharing this file with you so that you can check for the further details. For chemical there are 14, for mining 10, for civil 7. So these are the number of posts. Total 189 vacancies are there out of which uh, 79 for general and uh, there are for different uh, respective branch, respective categories. So guys, now I am talking about the requisite qualification. The very first qualification required is if you are BTEC degree holder and with the percentage of 65% and my dear this is for the general category EWS, OBC and all and for other categories like SCST it is going to be for 55% and my dear it is also mentioned that final year students are also eligible provided you must have uh, completed that you must be completing the degree uh, with the required percentage before your PI personal interview will be happening. Okay, and guys, the next thing is, my dear, these are the branches which are eligible. If you have done in your, your BTEC in mechanical or production, you are eligible for the post which are there in mechanical. Likewise, if you have done your BTEC in electrical or power engineering, you are eligible for the post related to electrical. For instrumentation, electronics, instrumentation, telecom, electrical energy, uh, engineering, these are eligible. So guys, these are the BTEC degrees. If you are having BTEC degrees in these branches, you are eligible for the respective posts. So guys, next I will be telling you about the age limit. The age limit is also a very important thing. Like you have seen whatever the notification prior came, like you have seen for HPCL and all, they are taking the candidate up to 25 or 26 years at the max. But guys, here the age limit is 30, which is a good news for those who crossed their age 20, more than 26 and they are looking for PSU. So guys, it is a good opportunity for you because number of posts are equally good. But definitely it is based upon the GATE 2022 scorecard. Now related to personal interview. So guys, for personal interview, the candidate will be called based on two things. One, when do you will be sharing your educational qualification, BTEC with some requirement of percentage, as you know. Second is going to be GATE scorecard. Based on these two things, the candidate will be called for the personal interview. And after that, when you will be going for personal interview, document verification will also happen at that time okay so guys now it is to, uh, about the gate code like if you are from mechanical engineering if you are from production and industrial that is okay that is your btech you are eligible but my dear paper code if you are from production but you have given the gate paper from pi and XE, then you are not eligible. So gate paper code must be mechanical engineering for mechanical. It should be electrical engineering for electrical. It should be instrumentation engineering for the post related to instrumentation. So my dear, these are the paper code of the gate. Okay. So first I have shown you the BTEC degree with which heading you have. Okay, so now I am telling you about the gate paper code. Okay, so it is also very important. Now, my dear, final selection will be based upon 90% weightage is given to gate score, 10% is given to the personal interview. So you can see if your gate score is very, very good, interview is not going to affect you much. So if you are single, double digit or uh, you, are, you are having very good ranks. So my dear, in that case, interview weightage is very, very less. Then my dear, compensation package also we will talk about. Compensation package is going to be 40,000 during the training period and 60,000 after that, including one uh, additional increment. But this is, I am talking about the basic pay. There are many other things like dearness allowance, my dear. There are many things like medical facility and also there are some performance related pay. So these are based on the uh, 
norms of the company okay that will be also there and my dear after that i will tell you about the placement so you know nalco have various center uh, different centers in different different uh, part of the country so based on the requirement you will be getting the posting okay next is service agreement board so you can see my dear the selected candidate at the time of joining will be required to sign a bond and that is of 3 lakh rupees or 4 lakh rupees depending on your training and guys that will be required for a minimum period of 4 years so if you are working for 4 years then ok it's fine before that if you are going to leave you need to pay this amount and medical fitness definitely a medical test will be there even after final selection then only after medical fitness test you will be getting the uh, yes, you will be getting the joining, final joining. So application fee when we are talking about for general OBC EWS candidate, it is 500 rupees. And guys, for others, it is going to be 100 rupees. So guys, uh, okay, 100 rupees as processing, okay. So guys, this is related to the application fees. Now I'm telling you how to apply. You will go to carrier page of Nalco and then you will go for the advertisement, then apply now. After that, you will be going for some details filment and you will be paying the fees. And in that way, you can go for the registration. So guys, uh, it will be starting from 11th of August. So best of luck guys for this. So we will be meeting again. Goodbye.